Hey guys, you know the drill. Let's jump into the question. All right, so today's question is from Yelp and it's find the number, not the number, find a business and a review text that received the highest number of cool votes. Okay, so find the business and the review text that received the highest number of cool votes. We want to output the business name along with the review text. Cool, so let's take a look at the table. All right, so it's called Yelp Reviews, and we have business name, review ID, user ID, stars, review date, review text, funny, useful, and cool. So what we, what we want is the business name along with the review text. All right, so let's also take a look at the expected output. Okay, so it's literally just the business name and the review text. I assume it's the one with the most amount of cool votes. Okay, so straight up, what assumptions do we have? Okay, so the assumption that I have right now is if we're ordering about a number of cool votes, there might be more than one person or um, more like more than one review, I guess, that has the same number of cool votes. So you might have like the top three people all have the same number of cool votes. So in that case, I'm going to truncate it so we only get the first one. So that's the assumption that I'm going to make here. All right, so let's jump into the question. How would I approach this? Okay, so we are finding, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna order by cool and we want to select the business and review text and we only want the coolest one. So limit by one, all right. So let's write the query. From Yelp reviews, select business name and the review text. We want to order by cool. We want to order by descending here. And we want to limit to one. Double checking. <laughs> that looks right to me. Fingers crossed. Let us try it out. Yay! We did it. Before we get excited, let's actually see if it's correct. Okay, that looks right to me. So why don't we check out their solution as well? See, I told you guys, there's so many ways of approaching the same question. They did it really different from how I did it. So how did they do this? Okay, so they used an inner join, interesting. So they went from Yelp reviews and they found, okay, so what they did is they found the coolest one and then inner joined it with um, the table again so that you would get the review with the max coolness and the business name review text. Totally works as well. So I actually think though that my solution here is more efficient because I don't do an inner join and I only filter at one time. So that saves us one filter and one join. All right. So in terms of anything I can do to make this more efficient slash any other business aspect that I can consider. So I think that this is pretty efficient to me. Do let me know in the comments below how you guys approach this question. I'm always interested in seeing your solutions as well. Um, so in terms of business wise, I feel like this is pretty self-evident. You want to find the business name and review text that is the most cool on Yelp reviews. So that looks good to me. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Oh, actually, by the way, if you guys haven't checked out Strata Scratch yet, which is the platform that I'm using now for these weekly SQL interview questions, do check that out. Um, I think it's actually really helpful and really has saved me so much time. I'll link it below as well. So yeah, if you're interested, do check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video.